the sight of a narwhal, you might try to convince yourself it isn't real. Why? Most likely the imposing unicorn horn coming out of its lower left jaw. It grows counterclockwise in a spiral and can be up to nine feet long. The horn is constantly misjudged, however. This tusk is actually a tooth, and not just any tooth. This tooth is surrounded in a shroud of mystery. Scientists have tried to solve it, but to no avail. Charles Darwin contributes to the question of the narwhal's tusk with this theory. He wrote, when the males are provided with weapons which the females do not possess, there is hardly a doubt that they have been acquired through sexual selection. In other words, Darwin is implying that a narwhal's tusk, or a deer's antlers, or a male peacock's feathers, all have the same primary use, which is to attract females. Because most female narwhals do not have the spiral tusk, many scientists believe the tusk must solely be a sexual distinction, although some disagree. Dr. Martin Nuya from the Harvard School of Dental Medicine studies the narwhal's tusk. Nuya says, people say it's everything from an ice pick to an acoustic probe. But this is the first time someone has discovered a sensory function and is a science to show it. His tests uncover startling news. Narwhals have no tooth enamel whatsoever. Tooth enamel is a protective layer of the tooth most mammals sport. Narwhals do, however, have three layers to their amazing tooth. The thin outside layer, referred to as cementum, is the darkest of the three. The second layer goes by the transition ring, while the third, thickest layer is called dentine. The gaping hole in the inside of the tusk is filled with nerve endings. The tubules on the surface of the tusk send stimuli to nerve endings, leading scientists to believe the tusk is a sensory organ. But what are these tubules? When you have a cavity, the missing tooth enamel exposes your tubules to hot and cold. Since norals do not possess tooth enamel, the tooth is sensitive to cold temperatures and salty water. To find this out, we have submerged a narwhal's tusk in hot, cold, and salty waters. He then watched his scans of the brain light up in the places the narwhal was sensing a change in temperature. The function of this tooth is still being debated by scientists. So, for now, the narwhal's tusk remains a mystery.